earliest food memories are wonderful. My father had a transport cafe. And when I was a little boy this size, I used to go to his transport cafe uh, to get me out of the house with, for my mum, who was very busy in the house, bacon and sausage sandwiches. Cooked like a master. I, I, I drool just thinking about them. And he did a really special thing called a bacon and tomato dip sandwich with tin tomatoes reduced. They didn't have shallots and garlic in those days. Tea cake dipped in it, fried in bacon fat and bacon in between. Let me tell you, that's why I'm so slim. All my childhood memories have a pair of banisters like that because uh, I remember my parents' dinner parties and I sat on the steps and wanted to participate and uh, I, I, I looked at this other world happening way beyond, uh, you know, butterscotch angel delight and, and, you know, oven chips that they were indulging in and I saw my first avocado through a banister. I was about, I don't know, maybe 13 and I just... I just wanted to get beyond the banister and eat it. And that's why now I suppose I'm a professional eater, is I finally got beyond the banister and got to have whatever I wanted. So, happy days. I think one of the, the earliest memories I have was, um, we moved to India when I was very little, I was four uh, at the time. And uh, at my mum's uh, sister's place, there was always lots of shooting and fishing and there was always game and being barbecued. And I just, probably not always, but I associate the smell of a barbecue being lit and the smell of roasting and searing meat. Um, with those kind of very early memories. So anytime I, I light a barbecue, get some meat grilling on it, it reminds me of, of being a child. Mm -hmm.